I am under stress while recording this video because I have kept my laptop on the table. I am sitting on the floor. My cat is playing with the table on the table with my laptop. She is playing with the lighting and this guy right over here is messing up with the parcel that I am supposed to open in this video. So the parcel I have is a huge parcel and it contains all cat food and somehow my male cat already knew that it's his food and he has been sleeping with it he has been you know clawing the whole parcel basically he has been trying to rip off this whole parcel rip open this whole parcel and I am under pressure because these cats want to know what's inside and I have ordered something different this is an update sort of of the last years really loving they like to stay around us it's like you know they are so fond of my family they just want to be around humans and they are indoor cats I don't let my cats out it's best when you get a well-bred cat that you train them to be indoors because outdoors you never know they might meet with an accident I have heard many cases my cats are indoor cats and they are trained that way they like to stay indoors they play around I fear that if they go out, my next door neighbors have the next door neighbor, right? Adjacent to me, she has so many bloody dogs, so many, around five, six, I do not know, I have lost count. It's good to, you know, uh, cater to stray dogs, but to a point where you have already dogs and cats, you have to train those dogs and cats to get along. I have seen their own dogs rip apart their cats so I'm kind of you know in whole skeptical state to let my cats out and when you uh, you have a pet cat cats usually have the tendency to go around wide in the open my cats are not allowed that they are allowed to stay indoors it's best you train your cats to be indoors hi guys welcome to a new video so today's video is going to be an update of the last year's video where I say subscribe, 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 we have got cats in the house. So today is going to be an update of what my cats eat and what they do no longer feel like eating or they no longer think it is best suited for their metabolism to eat. So without wasting any time, let's get into the whole detailed uh, food review or food update of my cats but before that don't fail to subscribe and hit that notification bell your support to this channel would mean a lot I have a box full of food right over here so we will get started with what's in the box my cats last year I told you all about Mio my cats used to eat Mio Mio is an affordable food that is available in the market for Persian cats and my cats no longer eat Mio because I don't know I had the tendency to buy Mio and Royal Canin at the same time and I would mix them and store it in a jar and when I would pour out the food on their dish bowls they would separate out the kibble the Mio kibble from the Persian Royal Canon Persian food kibble and they would eat the Royal Canon first and they would leave apart the Mio they just stopped eating Mio even with the wet food the small sachets which you would get they stopped eating that too now what do my cats eat they only eat all the pricey food that is available they eat Royal Canon Persian which I have right over here. This is a 2 kg bag. You get 2 kgs and 4 kgs even. I think even more. So this is a 2 kg bag. Royal Canon Persian. This is what my cats love. And as soon as I take out the packet, they come to smell. Actually my cat just ripped open this bag. I just noticed it now. And they just love it. And to tell you the truth, my male cat, as soon as this parcel arrived, they knew, he knew it was his food and he has like a very good sense of smell, be it humans and his food, he has a very good sense of smell. And 
so he just ripped open this bag i have to keep it until his earlier stock is over my what i would feed them earlier was royal canin persian and royal canin uh, hair and skin i will show that packet later but what's in the box is this time i ordered royal canin persian and this origins cat and kitten this is the packet and this is like slightly more pricey 500 rupees more and uh, i'm going to mix this also it has got chicken turkey uh, the nutrients of chicken turkey fish egg salmon and what not so this i looks promising and i have heard good reviews about this so this is also is going to go into their nutrition my meal gets super excited my meal can be super excited about his food he's right over here he loves his food and he loves the whole box he's going to play in that box he has a tendency to roll over in the box so my female is somewhere up on the bunk bed and she has this cute habit of uh, you know she goes on the bed and she just hang her paws from the bed for wet food they no longer eat pure wet food they eat this sheba skipjack and salmon then sheba fish with sesame and this is mungru and bream there is one more packet which is a nice sea green colored packet and uh, that has bonito flakes in it so that is also on the way it has not arrived in this package i had to order that separately from amazon amazon had that in stock where you can purchase this food is from heads up for heads up for tears marshall's pet zone and amazon usually has their food or you can go uh, at your local pet store they also have this food but what is there with online stores is that when you buy things in bulk there is like a 15 percent discount 20 percent discount so i go for that kind because these foods are really expensive wherever you get discounts you need to grab those discounts mm, besides the food i have been using something for their coat i will speak about that too here we have the shampoo uh, my cats were actually infested with fleas and i wanted to treat that so i called the vet and the vet told me that they require a spot on treatment spot spot on is like your small fabric tube it is like similar to a fabric tube and you're supposed to put it on the nape of their neck so that they don't need to lick it and i had to keep my cats separated 48 hours for the treatment to work and then she asked me to wash them in betadine water or with this shampoo this is a very nice shampoo it has all the organic ingredients oatmeal and whatnot i will show the details up here somewhere this is really good this is really good uh, i have seen some improvement once used i have used this just once i've seen some improvement in their fur but it was recommended after that spot and treatment that i shampoo and wash them properly i didn't want to do it with betadine so i went on to purchase this, this again i purchased from heads up for tails you can get it even on amazon next thing in between baths if you don't want to give your uh, this pets bath regularly this is a no rinse spray it's a fresh coat it's like your how you have dry shampoo for your hair that's the kind of uh, wash that this it gives like a clean feel it's great for the fur and this is what i use now coming to next care for your cats my female cat is again both my cats are one year six months this is Zola and she was pregnant this year and she lost all her kittens yeah she lost all her kitt kittens because she was not her breasts were not producing milk as much and she couldn't feed her feed her cats kittens and she needed desperate vet attention and you know the coronavirus is going on i couldn't get in touch with any vet but it was the end of the week since the kittens were born that the vet arrived and she said she's not producing any milk 
you have to give some supplement milk to her and we didn't know about this and during that week the five kittens that she gave birth to they their death was in sequence monday one kitten dies tuesday another kitten dies it was a terrible state and uh, to our ignorance we came to know much later much much later that my cat needed wet attention at the time of her pregnancy she needed the vaccines she needed deworming and all that sort of things so when you take a breed animal be it a breed dog or a breed cat know what is important for them so that you can give that due attention that is needed for your pets so that is where i desperately failed i think so i felt really bad because it was sad they were like so tiny they were so tiny like you know like your finger and i had to see them die it was bad but my cat is taking it quite well because uh, after that she was pampered quite a bit she was brought back to her original self she had the loss of her kittens and she was quite upset she was mewing around the box where she had littered the babies the kittens for two days at least then we had to pamper her quite a bit to let her mind off of the disaster that had happened other than that i would say yearly vaccines are important for such breeds and their food is equally important you can't give any food home food your the food that you consume the tin cans fish cans which you consume you cannot feed these cats you need to invest your money in their food properly because their metabolism is not as good as your other local cats these are breed cats and if you plan on having such cats in your home as pets you have to cater to their needs and this guy is really loving really really loving so that's all for this video if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have any questions regarding pet food cat version cat food you can comment below that's all until then bye